All right, before we open this, we've got to edit preferences because we are opening a file from Inkscape rather than Illustrator, which is default. Otherwise, it'll be the wrong dimensions. Make my project open. Scroll wheel very slowly scrolls. Uh, and then we go to profile. You can also do pockets like park signs, follow path, which will follow exactly the path. But I want profile because I want the letters to pop out perfectly formed. Okay. Yes. Uh, tool diameter, that's fine. We've got that. Our so we should explain each one real quick. A tool diameter is the bit that you're using. So if you're using a quarter inch bit, you put that as 0.25. That's true. Um, the step down is the other really important one you gotta think about for a second. Um, mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. the, it's not just gonna go all the way down through the material and then go sideways, because that's a really quick way to break a bit. So you can only go down a certain amount at a time. And your face, it's true. It's, it's plastic, but it's not that good. It's not bulletproof. Okay, anyway, so uh, <laughs> set it to half of your tool diameter. A lot of times we use um, 0.125 tool diameter, and so and that we would use be half 0. of that. And that would be 0.067. You memorize these numbers soon enough. So with a quarter inch bit, it's an eighth inch step down, and that's, um, yeah, it, so it's going to have to slice this into um, however many times eighth inch goes into 0. 0.8. Anyway, it'll go down a few. It'll, take it'll a few go steps. down a bunch of times. Um, I'm gonna set the safety height to way higher. That's just how high it goes above your board. Because yeah. Mine is warped and it doesn't take any extra time. It's fine. Uh, stock surface, top of the surface, yay. So we'll uh, leave it at zero. We'll yeah, show you how to do that later. And then this is negative because the top surface it's is going zero. down. Yeah. Yep. Okay. And counterclockwise, good. You can swap that on your tools, but you want it to be the same. Yeah. Okay. So we're good there. Uh, now it's still selected. We click Calculate All to calculate the tool paths. Takes a minute. There it goes. Little green arrows show you the direction of the tool path. Yeah, so that, that yeah, new line is mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the tool path, and it's got your arrows showing you which direction it's moving. And you can inspect it and see if it's um, not doing what you want it to. Yeah, we don't want that. So we want it to the, the T and the U to come out separately. So we need to change things around a bit. So um, I think I'm just going to exit and reopen this. Hmm. Yeah, so. if you can just refresh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wah, wah. Quick, 90. In okay. case you needed a refresher. Yeah, it's helpful. It's helpful, right? It's helpful, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, wait. No, we're gonna move it first. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, we have to move it first. Ah, la, la, la. So before we create a tool path, we're gonna rearrange the letters, which you can do like so. <laughs> and then you have to select everything that you want to create a tool path for, which was everything okay. for me. Quarter inch bit, eighth inch step down. The um, feed rate and the plunge rate are pretty good default values for wood. Wood isn't so picky. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Uh, uh -huh. oh, yeah. And then, then calculate it all. Uh -huh. And that takes a while. Give me pass. Bam. <laughs> okay. And oh. this one so it still works. A little bit. Yeah, this as long works. as it cuts between them, we're going to get two separate letters. Okay. Slow scrolling. Let it, let, oh. let it think about things before. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, now we want to give it some tabs. Yeah, so right now, if, it, if, it, if we cut this file, um, the letter would get loose when it was cut all the way through and like rattle around and get cut up some more. Five would... is usually fine, but... So when, you, when you're cutting parts that are meant to come loose, you want to add tabs. Yeah, and uh, on this one, the tab width is the distance between where the bit goes up and the bit comes down. So for 0.25, it, a 0.25 tab would not exist, so With I'm it, adding yeah. a little bit. Um, so make it, um, yeah, add your, yes, yeah, so you can move these tabs around. I was just going to say, add the yes. diameter of your bit to how wide you want your tabs. Mm -hmm. It will come out just mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. So these are the, we're moving around the tabs that are going to appear on our finished um, cut. Um, so you can reposition them to what you think will be easiest to remove or just what you think will add the most support. Yeah, basically wherever um, the ends are. That's where 
the most torque is. Mm. That's where it will flop around the most, you might say. Oh, and so we still don't have tabs inside, but we're going to say that's fine. But I think that's, that's okay. Fine. I think it'll the, just the mill is cut gonna, everything out right, there, it's probably. Just empty out I the suspect. These are fairly small, so. All right, then we export, and we're done. Select, so and export <laughs> selected. So you had to select the first. And uh, save it somewhere you can get to it later. And that's it. Congratulations. I'm sure you'll yeah. be great. <laughs> Ask someone to help. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. Good job. Good job, team. Us.